Article 42. On petition of Kim Grondin and 25 or more registered voters to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $100,000 for the purpose of providing the additional funding needed to complete the reconstruction and associated activities of the Grist Mill Dam, also known as Mill Pond Dam, and to amend the Town of Hampton Warren Article 38 from, the two, from 2015 by changing the required completion date to until the repair or rebuilding of the Grist Mill Dam is completed or to March 31, 2020, whichever is sooner, subject to the appropriation. The sum of $100,000 of, $100, of this amount is to come from the town's unassigned general fund balance, a fund containing unexpended appropriations from prior years as of December 31, 2017, and no additional amount to be raised from taxation in this tax year. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32,7 Roman 6 and shall not lapse until the work is completed or by March 31, 2020, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required no tax impact. Note, the additional funding is requested as the original value of the project was based on an opinion of costs from preliminary plans completed over five years ago. Competitive bids have been received for the reconstruction of the dam and are based on actual field conditions and a fully engineered design. The State of New Hampshire Dam Bureau required the Town of Hampton to either repair or remove the existing dam or face daily fines for not complying with the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services letter of deficiency dated July 11, 2012. If this warrant article does not pass, a future warrant article will be required with additional money to meet the requirements of the state. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 3-0, recommended by the Municipal Budget Committee 7-3-1. to three to one. From our planning or finance department, uh, no tax impact. Motion to open discussion on Article 42. Yes, sir. Norman Hurley. Yeah. Norman Hurley, uh, come on up to the podium. Get a second. Yep. Mr. Moderator. I do. I have an amendment. Like no, I, I've got him uh, already up at the podium. I need a second to open discussion. I'll second. Seconded by Mr. Griffin. So I'm going to let Mr. Hurley speak, and then I'm going to go to you. Okay. Uh, this is the actual money needed to complete the Grismill uh, plan, uh, Grismill Dam plan. Um, I have to first acknowledge that at the uh, budget hearing I misspoke because I was asked whether or not this had anything to do with the flooding. And unfortunately for me, I had it set in my mind that they were talking about the ocean flooding and not the, not the Grismill Dam or the Grismill Water. And I, I will say that I misspoke, that I... Uh, I said it had nothing to do with the flooding. It absolutely does have something to do with the flooding that goes over from the Grist Mill Dam and over uh, the uh, High Street. It also has a lot to do with the culverts that go under High Street at that area. Finishing this project will greatly reduce the amount of flow normally handled in a 100-year or 50-year storm going through the culverts. It will not eliminate it completely but it will reduce it uh, and hopefully make it more manageable. The plan, uh, the $100,000 is needed to add to the money that we raised and appropriated in 2015 to complete the project. The project has gone through many phases. It's gone out to engineering. It's gone out to planning. It's gone out, uh, many phases of that were done. It went out to uh, bid spec and then went out to bid. The bids are back. Uh, I know that I believe three of the bids meet uh, the uh, money we need here, I believe five of the, of the plans were actually over uh, the $100,000 we'd need here. But the town was told by the state to either fix the dam or remove it or face fines in order to do one or the other. But the truth of the matter is if uh, in 2015 we asked the town to change from removing the dam to replacing the dam or fixing the dam uh, because we felt that uh, the grist mill itself would be in danger and the aesthetics of the grist mill, as well as the flooding, would be handled much better if we replaced the dam instead of removed the dam. Regardless, if this money doesn't pass and we are unable to finish the dam, then we'll be required, and the town will be required, to come back with a much larger um, uh, warrant article, whether it be petition or, or other, to raise more money to either remove or replace the dam in the future. Because as of this year, if this article doesn't pass, then the money actually reverts back to the general fund because our warrant article will have lapsed. Okay. So the town of Hampton still is required by the state to fix the problem. 
They're, they were threatened back in 2012. I don't know the dollar amount. I believe it was up to was $10,000 a day to either do something or at least start making some plans to do something to fix the dam. And subsequently, 2013, they put in, or 2014, they put in one warrant article. In 2015, we reversed that warrant article from removal to replacing the dam or repairing the dam. So currently, this is all that's needed. I know it sounds like a lot of money, but it's needed to finish. It's a shovel-ready project. The, the bids are already in. We've worked well with the DPW and the selectmen, making sure we're all on board of this thing. I know they've done studies on it. They've, they've done core samples. We're at the point now where this is just, we've got to get the project finished, and it needs another $100,000. So I support the article. I don't know what the, war, what the amendment is going to be, but I'm asking you to support the article and move this project to finish. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hurley. Mr. Waddell. I'd like to make an amendment, and it's DRA that suggested wording for the article. Uh, and what it's going to do is cross out in the first paragraph uh, line one, two, three, four, and all the way down to no tax imp impact and replace it with the sum of $100,000 of this amount is to come from the town's unassigned fund balance. This will be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 37 colon, 32 colon 7, uh, Roman numeral 6, and shall not lapse until the work is completed or by March 31st, 2020, which is ever, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required no tax impact. Okay. So do we have a second on the without? All right, Ms. Barnes. So I think it's going to take us a little time to get that up on the screen. But as I understand your amendment, uh, Mr. Waddell, is it's driven by a Department of Revenue yes. Administration recommendation that the the um, the heart of the uh, article remains the same, appropriating uh, from the unassigned fund balance $100,000 to complete work on the grist mill dam. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. So let's see if we can get that. Um, Is that everything we needed to do, or are you still? Okay. All right. Um, Ms. Woolsey, we have an amendment up. That's really our only discussion. It's a housekeeping one. I'd ask you to yield so I can go out to the body and just have this amendment okay. uh, uh, grafted on. All those in favor of the Waddell Amendment, if you would raise your voter card. Thank you. Down cards, all opposed? All right. The uh, amendment has passed. Ms. Woolsey, would you like to speak to Article 42 as it is amended? We are masters of kicking the can down the road. I read the article. I got to thinking about it. I did a little research, and it's enough to drive a poor voter to drink. 2012... July 11th, we got the DES letter of deficiency. 2013, we saw the Stevens report. Article 15 in 2014, 400,000 to decommission the dam. That passed, 2,128 to 808. So far, so good. Article 16, same year, appropriated 235,000 with 147,500 offsetting revenues. That passed 23, 200, let's see, 2320 to 612. The lapse date for both of those, decommission and do the culvert, is March 31st this year. But then we come to 2015, Article 38, to rescind the 400,000 from Article 15 and raise and appropriate 650000 for repair or rebuilding the dam with 400000 from the unassigned fund balance. That was yes, 1205, and no, 1199. So there was a sixth vote margin there. Still nothing is done. 2016, Article 20, raise and appropriate 147500 replace the outfall culvert below the dam on High Street, Etc. I've about had it. Either we need to do something or not. Number one, that is wetland. 
all behind the dam, which is why you have a dam and a pond and stuff. I understand de developers are looking for land back there. The last thing on God's green earth we need is a development stuck back in there. We absolutely need a culvert. We have needed a culvert for a long time under High Street and across the road. Will somebody please do something to get the project done, either rebuild the dam or decommission the dam, definitely do the culvert, and get off this years and years of getting the public, including me, confused. It's getting me upset. Thank you, Ms. Wolsey. Mr. Tilton. Peter Tilton, uh, 125 Landing Road. Um, this is kind of an anomaly for me. I'm usually in favor of preserving historic sites the way they are and wetlands and such. But uh, I can't, I haven't been convinced to go for putting a new dam here. Um, two weeks ago, we had a conservation commission meeting and a representative, I think it was an engineer, I'm not sure, but was talking in favor of this to us. And I asked him, if it would be better off for flooding to rebuild the dam or decommission it and, re and restore the grades so that it would be it would run off in an appropriate manner during high water and he said it was it was basically a wash on that this is just a matter of whether you want a dam or not um, I can't remember what the Stevens study cost but I'm sure it must have been around fifty thousand dollars more or less and then we've Jumped up to six fifty thousand to rebuild the dam last year, and another hundred thousand this year. So you're probably around eight hundred thousand dollars closing on a million dollars to rebuild the dam. That, as far as I know, doesn't give us any public access to that area. So we're asking the town's voters to come up with a good chunk of money to preserve a pond. It's basically on private property. I may be wrong about that. I know people have said, well, so-and-so said they could have access and people could come, but there's nothing written or in the deeds for a guarantee. Any, any landowner can change and say, I don't want you on my property. Um, the last thing I'd say is, if we rebuild a dam there, we're still going to be under the constraints of DES. We're going to have a, a hazard dam that needs to be maintained and at some point may run into trouble again, whereas if we decommission, we don't have any down-the-road costs. It's all over. And I've also heard people say, well, we can, if we have a dam, we can, we can run the mill. I don't know why you'd want to run the mill unless you've got people to come and see the, the mill running, which would be during tourist season. And every year that I can remember in tourist season, that brook runs dry. So unless you're going to put in a hydrant and pump water from Aquarian to run that mill, I think that's a pipe dream, too. So I, I don't think this should go through, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm in the minority, and it probably will, but I think it's a, a big spend of money for not much. Thank you, Mr. Tilton. Mr. Edgar? Uh, Mike Edgar, Hampton. Well, I'm not sure where to start on this, but uh, I guess I'll start by saying I'm definitely in favor of, uh, of doing this. And let's get it done. It's ready to go. It's been engineered 100% now. We've done the borings. We know what's there finally. And, uh, and I, I do believe that we, that we should have the dam. It, my understanding is um, uh, I am a civil engineer, registered civil engineer, and from the studies and things that have been done, we are going to put a, right now it's called for to put a, a control pipe basically in, in the dam, you know, it, so that we can keep the water level up or if we have a storm coming, as we've talked, uh, as it's been mentioned by the public works people when we had our discussions, we can, we can lower the water some and so they can catch some of the initial, uh, basically uh, the, the flow coming down to try to minimize uh, the flow through the culverts you know, that, that follow the, uh, the mill. So um, we're ready to, ready to go now. Uh, it's been a while. It has been, uh, it's been torturous for, especially for the people that have been involved with it for several years. I haven't been uh, for the whole time, but I have been, uh, you know, for the last couple of years. And, uh, and there is much of a, 
uh, a hurry to get it done as everybody else. One thing, if we don't have a dam, then we won't be able to do something later on with the mill. There's only a few things we have left in town. Most stuff has got torn down. Uh, we do have the blacksmith shop, and hopefully that will go through so we can continue to make that better. Uh, but the, uh, the mill is one of the few things we do have left. Let's uh, try to have that area be the best it can be. So as I said, uh, I'm in favor of it. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Mr. Edgar. Yes, Mr. Griffin. I'd like to say that I'm very much in support of this. This has been going on for a long time. There's been a lot of people have spent a lot of time. And uh, we've seen uh, what happens when um, private developers tried to go in there. And it's a controversial area, but this is one of the oldest structures in Hampton, the grist mill. And I'm very much in favor of keeping this going and making it safe for everyone that lives around there. All right. Thank you, Mr. Griffin. Um, is there anybody else who should be heard? Or do you, you want to wrap things up first, I Mr. Do, Hurley? You, you started it, so you can <laughs> finish it. And then I know we have our eighth grade students with there us who have um, the results of the, uh, the drawings. Just to address a couple of issues that were brought up. One is that this will give us a lot more control both over water flow um, in, in a 100-year storm and sediment flow into the Meadowbrook Pond area as well, which, would, which possibly would help with some of their issues down there. But this is no longer asking for an additional 650. It's asking for 100,000 to come from the fund balance because we're still required. But without finishing this project, this will cost us well over the 650 or the 750 that is now at, even just to decommission the dam. It's not a... It's not a choice that, you know, if we don't, if we decommission, it's going to be a lot less expensive. That's not the truth. The truth of the matter is even decommissioning it now will require more because of some of the uh, information that came out of core studies. They would have to go further back into the silts. They would have to take the silts out from the middle of the pond that's there on the Grismill Pond. It would require as much work as it is to rebuild the thing at the same expense, and the state still requires the town to do something. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hurley. All right. We're going to have um, concluded Article 42. Before we move to Article 43,